Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of the Barbie series. So we're back from our vacation now, back to reality. Tuesday morning, so we've got to go to school fairly soon but we've woken up in a bit of a foul mood. Checked our social bunny this morning and saw that mean Mindy's been talking shit about us. Oh there's Midge there having a joke. Oh we'll react to that, we'll do a little, we'll do laughy face, it's funny Midge. Yeah, look at this shit. Don't talk to me anymore. Well, you know what, Mindy? Angry face. See if we can write something shitty about Mindy. Uh, mean message. Mindy, you make me want to be a jerk. Yeah, take that, bitch. Oh, really pissed me off. Anyway, can't let it get to us. It's the morning. We've got school soon, so we should probably get dressed. As you could tell, my Barbie loading screens are back. I just really wanted to get into the theme. I even gave us a custom Barbie dressing room. Which you can see right here. Really going over the top. Really getting into the spirit of this Barbie Let's Play. Okay, so we need to plan an outfit for school. Still got our tan going on. I'm thinking something um, something preppy, maybe? It's the first day back to term after being on vacation. So I want to make the impression that we're, you know, serious about school. Even though, really, we don't give a shit. Might even go a shade darker on the uh, on the lipstick. Because obviously now we have that fabulous tan. Yeah, maybe we'll go for that, yeah. There is a preppy top in Creator Sim that I quite like. Just want to be dressed so that we look serious for school, you know? Okay, yes. That top. Maybe something like this, perhaps? Okay, yeah, perfect. I think we're ready for school. Let's just check that manicure. thing that annoys me about this is that they don't actually have a pink. This is like a purpley... Fuchsia. So I guess we'll just go for this, this lilac sort of colour. Alright Barbie, perfect. Definitely gonna have a few words with Mindy though when we get to school. Might even have a plan up my sleeve. Ah, little Chelsea, she's cute. Yeah, take a selfie. Post it on Social Bunny. Show everyone how hot we look today. Okay, 6am, we've got a little bit of time before school, so let's just grab quick breakfast. Cereal maybe? Skipper's making her breakfast, something in the microwave. Breakfast morning, hot pocket perhaps? You can see from their icons, mum and dad are still sleeping. Ah, oh, they are shit parents, aren't they? What did you go for, Barbie? Lucky Charms? Looks like Lucky Charms. Pizza rolls? Come check out Thrift Tea. You know, I think we probably will go to the bubble tea place after school today. We'll go hang out with our girls. What's that fear you've got? Mourn the dead. Oh, I just noticed as well, it's um... It's summer, so maybe we could have a pool party at some point. Maybe not in this episode, but we could make a whole thing about it. Oh, the mum is sleeping in Stacy's bed. Did you guys have an argument last night or something? Yeah, I'm sure our parents argue all the time. Over Barbie, probably. Right, I think we're going to be going to school in a minute. Seems kind of a gloomy day, doesn't it? Right, come on then, Barbie. Let's go to school. All right, here we are. So I have... um given the school a bit of a fresh lick of paint. You know, I tried to go for like a bit more of an 80s vibe. So now we have some outdoor areas where students can sit, maybe play a little bit of music, football. We've got some picnic tables, blanket, a cooler, in case any of the students want to get on the beers before their day starts. Pink school bus override, because <laughs> why not? And this is our school. I tried to make it as Barbie-ish and as 80s as I could, because I imagine that's where we would be, right? She went to school in the 80s, huh? So it's like a mix of 80s vibes with the cassette wallpaper and then also lots of pink. Already looks pissed off to be there. Well, I noticed Libby didn't turn up to school today. She must be too afraid. Also, I've just noticed something about this pack that I think is terrible that I never noticed before, which is that my pre-made teen sims, so all of our friends, Midge, Ken, Cole, none of them have showed up to school. Even when I teleport them here, they just disappear. So that's kind of ruined a great big chunk of the storyline for this Let's Play. <laughs> I might try and see if there's a mod or something where I can choose for myself who I go to school with. Oh, but Ken's still here. See if Mindy's left any more shitty messages. Social bunny. Oh, hey, Chunky. Uh, hey, Hunky. How's it going? Did you like those feet pics I sent? Yeah, well, I told you, you're not getting full body until you stop sticking Sylvester Stallone's face over mine. So we start with the feet, and then we'll work our way up. Oh, these two lovebirds. How long do we have? Uh, oh, about an hour. 
before we have to go to class. Okay, well, we do eventually want to be prom queen, so we should probably use this time to get to know some of the other students. You know, speak to the little people. Wow, we that sim is irresistible. Barbie has a major crush on Ken. Oh, too right. Oh, there's Mindy's fucking wingman, Raquel. Checking those porn sites, Raquel. See if you ever made it on there. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for you. Well, Barbie, you've spent so long sitting on your chair that we now don't have time to talk to anybody. Because we have class soon. Might be late. Oh, there's our royalty report. Fantastic. Why are we even at school? Why are we doing school when we're already a best-selling author? Clearly. All right, Barbie, where is our desk? This one right here? Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, teacher's not here today, so we've, we're being taught by the Furby instead. Really strict, that Furby. How come this class has a teacher and ours doesn't? Are we actually seriously just teaching ourselves today? Where the fuck is the teacher? Okay, well, I'm just going to excuse myself quickly. Don't mind me, Furby. Just got some ladies' problems to go and sort out. See you later, losers. I have some business to attend to. I think I remember Mindy's locker. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here's Mindy's locker. I can't think of a more valuable way to spend bunk off time. This will teach Mindy a lesson. Next time she opens her locker, she'll be faced with a blast similar to a whale letting one rip. Right in her fucking face. Oh. Right, Barbie, you're actually cutting into lunch hour, so hurry up, please. That's right, that's right. Take a selfie, obviously. Yeah, incriminate yourself. <laughs> Just put yourself at the place and time of the crime. Smart move. Hey, where's the food servant? What am I supposed to do? Just starve? Well, I'm just going to have to get something from the vending machine then. The fuck are you looking at? Okay, what should we get? Peanuts. There's a girl in my class with a nut allergy, so that would be hilarious. Uh, let's go for a pizza roll-up. Why not? Why not? Are you just going to guard the vending machine now, Barbie? So no one else can have any food. Oh, hey, Sydney. Nice to meet you. What's that? You're single? Uh, my friend Mindy is single. You should talk to her. She's got pretty low self-esteem. Well, I don't know that, but looking at her, she should have. So you'll definitely stand a chance. You're not fussy about hygiene, right? Oh, so that guy's our teacher, huh? Yeah, I think I saw him with the lady teacher this morning behind the bike sheds. Maybe that's why she didn't show up today. I don't know what he did, but I just really hope he could learn to breathe through his nose because we're not all fans of fish. Oh, there she is. There's class one teacher. You finally showed up to work then, eh? Ah, oh, lazy. You know what? I actually have a right mind to report those teachers to the principal. Oh, she's not in her office. Does anyone in this school do know how to do their job? Look at these sheep wearing their little after-school activity suits. Anyone can do an after-school activity, you know. Apparently we need to join an after-school activity to graduate early. But it's just finding one to pick. I don't want to join the chess club because I actually have a life. And I don't want to join the cheerleaders because they're full of sluts. <laughs> the sass. The sass just as her classmate walks by. Barbie really does think she's better than everyone. And isn't she? Oh, can't be asked. Can't be asked. Why are we learning fucking algebra when you could teach us something that's actually useful? Like how to contour. We're not even really writing anything. We're just doodling. Just drawing pictures of all the different ways we'd like to murder Mindy. Oh, God, this is so boring. I can barely keep my eyes open. Who can even pay attention to this shit, honestly? Oh, hey, Ken. Looking good. Turning up to turning up late to class, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I wish I'd thought of that. Oh, will Barbie be his girlfriend? Of course, every day of the week, Ken. You are the prom king to my prom queen. Which I will be. Otherwise, I will kick off and massacre everyone in this school. Loving that 80s shirt. Yeah, I keep forgetting we're in the 80s, what with the constant smartphones. But yeah, we are. We are in the 80s. Yeah, you're right, Ken. School does suck. They should be teaching us useful things, like how to use pickup lines, maybe we could play dream phone, or answer actual important questions, like who the fuck is Amadeus? Oh, right in the middle of the classroom, huh? <laughs> Autonomous. This reminds you of your little rendezvous in the bike sheds earlier, miss? Oh, I could just get lost in those eyes. Ken, I really could get lost in those eyes. Oh, I guess I'm walking away. Bye. Right, is school over? Yeah, school's finished now. Right, in that case, we're going to leave and we're going to go meet our girls at the bubble tea shop. Bye, Ken. Girl squad is all together. Where is the server? 
for the bubble tea place. Is it everyone taking the day off today? Did I miss the memo on that? Oh no, okay, great. Lilith Vitoris serving. Can I get food? Yeah. We'll also get mango bubble tea. Oh. Teresa, I've already seen oh. Cole's dick pics. Oh I'll send you Ken's tomorrow. Oh hey, I'll have a BLT, but instead of the bread, I'll have rice cakes. And instead of the bacon and lettuce, I'll have cream cheese. And instead of the tomato, I'll have sweet chili relish. Uh, or just the bubble tea. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, there goes your tip. Is that fucking Mindy? Well, 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 well. Look who came out of hiding. Oi, Mindy. What was that shit you were talking on social, Bunny? You know what, Mindy? It's bullying behaviour like that that'll keep you from being a kind and compassionate person like myself. So be a prick all you like, Mindy, but it won't make your dad come home. Oh, bitch, get out of my face. <sighs> Mindy is such a bitch. I'm not a malicious person, Midge, and I'd throat punch the next person that tells me I am. But that fugly skank has it coming. Yeah, you keep walking, bitch tits. Even look my way. Still, I did manage to make a point with that locker prank. You wanna shit talk me? Well, you can spend the day smelling like a muckbanger's asshole after a curry challenge. Heard that, Mindy. Yeah, you looking at me. Nah, fuck off. You know what? I think I might know why I like playing assholes in The Sims 4. There's just something funny about the contrast in playing an otherwise wholesome game, but doing and saying the most despicable things. You know what I might do? I might try and get a little bit of money by being a trendsetter. I'm going to create a fashion look. I mean, Barbie is an icon, so everyone will be fighting over the outfit that she creates. We could probably make some money so we can afford a really glitzy, glamoury prom dress for when we become prom queen, which we obviously will. Otherwise, we will kill. Right, we've got to come up with something that's like Barbie core, so we'll filter everything to pink. Oh, is, this is really all you've got. Oh, I mean, they really have got hardly anything. All right, we're just going to have to do this. We'll do this as a workout outfit. Barbie core, there we go. And then we'll list it for an extortionate price. That could be our side hustle. That could be how we start to get some money of our own to eventually move out of our parents' house. Okay, so Barbie core outfit one. We are going to sell that outfit on Trendy and we'll do 10,000 because why not? If the game will let me do it, I will do it. I kind of feel like it would work better if there was like a follower system, like you could only set any outfits for like a maximum price until you hit a certain number on trendy and then the price increases that would make more sense i think but for right now you know we got some teens here i do really want to be prom queen this year oh what's wrong barbie you need a shit all right we'll go say hello to raquel and then we'll take a shit i just want to at least introduce myself to all of the teens around here so everyone knows who i am so i'm on everyone's radar so when it comes to prom night, they know who they best vote for. Oh, should we maybe make a little social bunny post? We could make one about going out with Ken now. You're an amazing sim, Barbie. Oh, Midge. Oh, love her eyes. Yeah. Oh, I've got 62 followers. I went from zero to 62. Oh, I get woman about town, I guess. Uh, Mindy, let's just do a uh, negative. We'll, we'll react negatively to everything Mindy posts. Because she's a skank. Okay, we'll post about first kiss, happy narrative. Feeling grateful for that unforgettable first kiss, an amazing person I shared it with. Oh, let's write something about Ken. Oh, do I, do I not have Ken on Social Bunny? There we go. Right, flirty message for Ken. Call me Agnes Crumplebottom's purse, because I'd hit on you, Ken. Oh, that's right. Aw. Midge and Christy sending me jokes. I love these girls, man. This is my, my ride or dies. Oh, Mindy's posted something. What were you thinking posting that? Oh, bitch. Angry again. God. Still got more followers than Mindy, though. Right, Barbie, go and take a shit, and then we should probably head home, because we've got school tomorrow as well. That is an odd outfit choice to wear out to bubble tea, Christy, but it's your choice. And then tomorrow, I guess, we'll play the fun game of see how many teenagers that are supposed to be at school actually turn up to school. And then we'll also play the fun game of see how many people that are working in the cafeteria actually come to the cafeteria. I guess my game has just decided to be broken. I don't even have that many mods installed though. 
Okay, we're back to our fabulous mansion. Energy's getting a little bit low, but needs are pretty good. I just have like one errand to do, and then we can just go to bed. I wanted to maybe see if we could go to school early tomorrow, invite the girls, have a little bit of a picnic. I thought it would be quite nice. So I'm just gonna pop a little picnic basket here, and then we'll get up early in the morning to pack it. And then we'll meet the girls before school so that we can have a little catch up, little gossip, maybe show them my outfit of the day. What are you doing? What are, why are you walking like that? <laughs> dancing. Apparently this is Barbie's dancing. Yeah, no, my game's not broken at all. Nah, it's working perfectly fine. Just like The Sims 4 does all the time. Yeah, all right, Barbie. Well, maybe you just do your own thing, enjoy your evening, and then we'll get up early in the morning. And we'll get a little little picnic ready for the girls. Plus, I think we'll need it if we don't have a cafeteria server again tomorrow. Oh, George discovered the fire, did he? Because it looks to me like George might have actually made the fire. And instead of extinguishing it, he's too busy thinking about what kind of music he likes. Shit, we don't have an alarm in this house. Guys, come on. Someone's got to extinguish this fire. Otherwise, it's just going to keep spreading. Come on, Barbie, save the day. That's right. Okay, finally someone springs into action. God, I was waiting for you guys to pull your finger out your ass. At least the basket wasn't harmed. Right, George, you clearly did this, so clean the floor and throw away these piles of dust. Oh, I just wanted a moment of peace, but no, no. Too much to ask. Everyone evacuated. Guys, you didn't need to evacuate after the fire was put out. Also, you left the baby. <laughs> You know what, Barbie? It's been a stressful morning. Why don't we have a rose petal bath? I feel like this is probably how Barbie actually starts every day. It's some kind of lavish, over-the-top beauty regime. And then when you get done in the bath, I mean, there's no point going back to bed. You're already awake now. So we will we'll get some food. Maybe just we'll make some cheese. And mum, maybe you can do something. You know what, you can say what you want about Barbie being a bitch, but that girl certainly knows how to hold it together in moments of crisis. Proud of you. We could possibly order a delivery, actually. I was just thinking, we're doing all this, breaking our balls. We could get Zuma's food delivery. Ugh, you know what, fuck it, that's a lot of hassle. We'll just, we'll just take the cheese. And then we'll pop these sack lunches in the basket. Perfect, perfect, right. Put in your inventory. If I had even more time, I'd probably mix up some cocktails and stick them in there for the morning, but we don't have the luxury of time, so we'll just get the girls together. I doubt it will let me go to the school lot, but maybe we could try and go somewhere fairly close by. Oh, maybe we can go to the school lot. Okay, cool. We'll sit on the bench, we'll have some cheese, and we'll talk smack about the other students. Okay, we'll place our picnic basket. Where are all the girls? Start gathering. Oh, fuck's sake. Christy is sleeping. Oh, after all that, Barbie, we're just going to be sat here on our own with a picnic basket at 6.30 in the morning. Well, you may as well empty the basket. Okay, Teresa's coming right over. Let's call Christy again. We'll call Midge again. I wonder if us being here this early will break the school day for everybody. All right, come on, skanks. Come get your bags of cheese. Teacher's turned up. If you fucking think about eating my cheese, fuck off. Teacher's trying to be cool. Join in with the student banter. Oh, gross. Yeah, the thing I like about getting to school early is you get to just talk shit about people as they walk past or as they sit right next to you. I guess everyone's getting to school early. Yeah, loads of students are already popping up. I love your style, Teresa. You look ready for a day of academia. Oh, well, look what the cat dragged in. Decided to turn up to school, did you today, Mindy? I left a little something in your locker. Maybe you should check for it. Okay, join. I'm guessing I'll get another lo Oh, no loading screen? Oh, nice. Nice. So does that mean that my girls are going to disappear now? Or oh, no. Christy is a student today. That's good. Teresa's a student. All right. All right. It's actually working as it should now. Happy days. Aw, we're going to play ping pong with Midge. Oh, that's so sweet. I can't think of a better way to start the school day. So, Midge, you got a date for prom yet? Saw a few of the guys checking you out outside. I could put a word in if you like. Yeah, I'm pretty influential around here. People tend to listen to me. God, this school is quiet. It's like a ghost town around here. What are you guys doing? Why are you playing ball in the hallways? 
I wonder if we can get detention today. I mean, we snuck out of our last class without asking, but we didn't face any any penalty for it. So maybe we'll try again today, see if we can get detention. First off, let's see if this bitch serves a skinny latte. Hey, hey. So she's turned up today, but she's just she doesn't know which way she should be standing. Oh, now that the bells rang, now you face the counter. Right, yeah. Honestly. Well, at least we have good reason to bunk off school today. We can just walk out of the class and go and get ourselves a nice little morning snack, maybe? That cheese didn't really fill, fill me up, you know? Barely touched the sides. Much like Ken. Oh, hey, Midge, we're desk buddies. Psst, hey, Midge. Midge, let me copy your notes. Midge, let me copy your notes. She's so bored. Just thinking about how bored she is. Oh wait, this wasn't going to be our morning outfit. Right, just quick class, get into your... That's better, that's much more high school. Alright, the principal's here. Let's go and order some food and see if we get in trouble for bunking off. Oh, she's walking away. <laughs> Give me a slider. Yeah, the cafeteria worker doesn't question it, doesn't ask me why I'm not in class. See, and now lunch has only just started and we already have our food. Genius. Can I take the brownie? Can I take the... Ah. Oh. I was trying to take the principal's brownie. Ah. Oh. All right, let's sit at the cool kids' table. Why? Are, where are you going? I told you to sit at the cool kids' table. You're not seriously going to sit in the classroom to eat your lunch. Oh, Barbie. No. Come and sit at the cool table. Ah, oh, that's better. Now we're with our people. Except Midge. I don't know where Midge went. Oh, there she is. Midge, take a seat. Take a seat. What is that? That looks gross. It looks like a prison lunch. Why are you eating it off a tray like that? Can we steal from this guy? Oh, he's a teacher. Oh, for a second there I thought he was a student. Why the fuck am I giving him the time of day then? All right, what should we get from the vending machine this time? We will get lemon seltzer water. Just get something refreshing. It's been a hot day. Just something to take the edge off. I've got a hip flask in my backpack. Just give it a little bit of flavor. Also, we should probably use this spare time to make a little promposal sign, don't you think? Create a promposal sign for our boy Kenny. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Right, we won't bother going to class. We'll just carry on, carry on doing our promposal sign. I mean, who knows? We might just get detention. Oh, yeah, this is going to come up lovely. Did you just spray yourself in the face? Come on, Barbie, get your head in the fucking game. Oh, beautiful. Is that the principal? I wonder if she'll tell me off. Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, okay. So maybe we are going to get a detention. We're pleading. We're pleading. I think we might have just earned ourselves a detention. I don't want to hear your excuses, Miss Roberts. You're not in class, so you're getting detention. How can I trust you when you act so suspicious? Maybe Barbie should be a little more careful next time when she's feeling sneaky. Did we at least do the proposal sign? It's poor quality. So now our work day ends at 5 p.m. Can I just leave early anyway, though? I might just leave at three anyway, because me and the gang, we were going to go to the fairground today, serve detention after school. No, I don't think so. Leave school early. Fuck you, authorita. Barbie's decided to ditch class early today. She had better watch out for the school staff to make sure no one notices her. Oh, don't mind me. Don't mind me, guys. Just minding my own business. Okay, so perhaps maybe I'll give the promposal sign another go. But for now, we're going on a group trip to the fun fair. It's been a hard day. We work pretty hard. We deserve it. Ah, oh, nothing like an after school trip to the fun fair. Where is everyone, though? Where did everybody go? Oh, they're all coming up that way. One thing we will not be having is any ice cream. Heard someone died from that a few months ago. Died of a sugar overload. That ice cream server's got blood on their hands. Oh no, there's the gang over there, lagging behind. Come on guys, bit more enthusiasm, fuck me. Okay, first thing we should do is capture the essence of young love. By taking a photo, we'll do a romantic photo with Kenny. Here on the pier, come on Ken Ken. Oh, I am gonna change her outfit though to something a little bit more, a little bit more fairground. Let's see what we got, what we got. Maybe just her every day. There we go. Ken, let's go, come on. A little bit of first person. Can I go first person in here? I can't remember. I think I've tried this before and it didn't work. Ken, hurry the fuck up. I want to get some sexy pics for Social Bunny. Oh, I am in. Seven seconds in heaven. Say cheese. Show me those teeth. Oh, they actually missed Rome. They, they actually got a negative interaction from that. Right, try again. Try again. I want to have some photos for us to take home and some photos for Ken as well. 
And then maybe we'll get like a picture of our face printed on a t-shirt. Oh, Midge and Teresa are getting some photos first. Okay, fine, we'll wait, we'll wait. Right, Ken, we're gonna try those romantic photos uh -huh. again, all right? But this time, try and look like you love me. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Apparently that one looks shit as oh. well. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, well, you know, that's fine. Maybe we'll just go on the Ferris wheel together. Ride with, can we ride with everyone? Oh no, just Ken. All right, Midge, well, you and Teresa, you just do your own thing then, I guess. Wait, is Teresa gonna go talk to Carl? <gasps> no, Midge is talking to Carl. You're just gonna stand there and take that, Teresa. You're just gonna take that? Oh, okay. Well, I might as well fuck your boyfriend too if you don't give a shit. All right, yeah, we'll go on the Ferris wheel and then maybe we'll do the Tunnel of Love. Where's Christy? Did she just go home? Well, I guess she didn't want to get involved. Wait, can we, um, let's have a romantic kiss. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Love's true kiss. All right, let's go mess around with Ken. Oh, I think Cole's saying goodbye. I think he's, you leaving, Cole? Oh, he doesn't look too happy, does he? Little bit first person? Come on then, Ken. You and me. In the tunnel of love. Let's go. I think it's probably going to kick me out. I think I've tried this before and the game said, No, no, Carla, don't be such a pervert. And I said, Oh, please. Yeah, it's definitely going to kick me out. Yeah. Oh, well. I tried. Barbie stretches her arm above her head, attempting to casually wrap it around Ken's shoulder. Is Barbie doing what she, he thinks she's doing? Does Ken decide to take the chance and lean in? Or does he pull away and make some space between him? Uh, m scoot closer, obviously. Ken closes the distance between him and Barbie. Barbie lets out a sigh of relief and pulls Ken in a little closer to make this the cuddliest of carts that the cuddle carts have ever seen. Gained romance between riders. Oh, nice. I think all of our friends have gone home, though. I think we are the last ones standing. And it looks like Ken is leaving as well, without saying goodbye. So, yeah, sure, I guess I'll see you tomorrow at school. Come on then, Barbie, let's just go home. That was a fun evening at the fun fair. Let's take a look at our romantic pictures. Oh, look at that. Adorable. They look picture perfect, don't they? And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.